Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will introduce you to the one of the very nice uh, plot, plot related application which is Plotly and as you can see, uh, its website which is plot.ly and they call it Plotly as a product. So it is available in R, Python as well as as a JavaScript library and it creates very beautiful and uh, user interactive charts so it's like user can interact with do slice and dice comparison and all that stuff which is generally not possible with the static charts that you have seen so far in the r so this is very exciting because mostly in my work we i use uh, the plotly and uh, users are really happy because they have all sorts of uh, functionality and all so before further talk what I can do is I can go into the R Studio and show one chart in action. So if I zoom it, that's one of the very simple plotly bar chart. And uh, what we are displaying with the help of empty cards data, that is uh, inbuilt uh, library or inbuilt data set, empty cards. And uh, this is simple bar chart and you have all these different options like uh, you can download the plot as PNG, you can zoom it, pan it, zoom in, zoom out, auto scale, reset access, different options, even collaborate. So if you want to send it to uh, the other user, uh, your work, then you can send it to other user as well. So one of the very interesting feature which I have uh, really liked it, uh, meaningful in case of bar chart, but more meaningful in case of uh, scatter chart where you have dots on the plot. So like you can do a slice like this and the chart will be displayed only for that area that you have slide, sliced. So generally you have seen that uh, it is not possible if you are taking uh, any static R chart and with the help of this if you want to download this you can just click over here and it will show you where you want to download. So that's the uh, Plotly library I want to show you here uh, in this video and uh, just want you to introduce uh, to a couple of commands so that you can understand uh, the different options that are available with the Plotly charts and then uh, how you can use it in the Shiny. And we will end this video with uh, some simple exercise that you can do based on what work we are doing right now. All right, so first of all, what you need is the Plotly library. If you don't have, the command is very simple as you know, install.packages and within double quotes just mention Plotly and that will install the Plotly and that's, what, that's how I did it. So once you have the Plotly, import the library with the library word and then what I have done is I have just created one object and aggregated the miles per gallon. So if you don't know the empty cars data here is the empty cars data and here for different cars you have the miles per gallon their cylinder displacement horsepower all that sorts of data points so for the sake of simplicity i have just aggregated the miles per gallon by cylinder and horsepower and i have taken the uh, function as mean so that's the average so first of all the very simple command is plot underscore lee First, you need to provide the data set and after that, simply you need to provide the x-axis. So x is equals to the sign of till, uh, that means by x-axis by cylinders. So cylinders like 4, 5 and 6 or 8. So and then the name plotly bar chart example. I'm sorry, I missed the y part. So y-axis is miles per gallon. So that's the miles per gallon. Name of the chart, uh, plotly bar chart and type is equals to bar. If you don't specify the type, then plotly will try to create uh, the chart based on the parameters specified. So for example, if you have both parameters as uh, numeric and uh, the chart needs to be created, then it will create a scatter chart. But here in this case, we have clearly specified that type is bar. That's why it is creating a bar chart. So that's a very simple command, provide the data set name A, X axis, Y axis, name of the chart and what type of chart you want, bar, line, pi or what kind of chart you want. If you don't specify, 
as I mentioned earlier, it will create the chart based on what X or Y parameters you are passing. After this, you always have uh, the requirement that you have uh, more than one numerical variable and you want to create the grouped bar chart. Again, that is very simple, but if you will observe, we are using these uh, uh, notations, which is from our grid R package. And that basically helps us, you know, uh, writing lengthy command in an easy and efficient way, which user can read it. So what we are doing over here is that we are specifying the empty cars data set on X axis against the lander, but on Y axis, we have MPG type is equals to bar and we have specified the name again we are adding a trace and that's the key so trace is basically saying that that's first parameter that you have already specified in plot plotly but there is another parameter and that's a trace to it so adding a trace and we just because we have already specified x-axis that will not going to change so what we just need to specify is y-axis so y first axis was mile per gallon and the next one is horsepower. So just specify the y-axis as horsepower and the name is horsepower. And finally, if you have some layout related configuration, then specify. So for example, any title you want to give it to the y-axis or x-axis, specify that. And then here is the important parameter, which is bar mode is equals to group. If we specify group, it will produce the group bar chart. And if we provide the stack it will produce the stack bar chart so if i select this entire command press control enter it will produce us a beautiful chart which is a grouped bar chart all right with the same settings if we want stack bar chart as i mentioned you just need to change the bar mode and say stack control enter and you have the stack bar chart all right after this if you want any sort of uh, custom labels as a part of hovering over the uh, once you hover over so you have you are specifying 335 and 15 uh, as the labels but you want to specify some custom message so what i have done is i have just added a new column to the data set a the aggregated data set a that we created earlier over here so if i show you i just press a control enter here we have the data set where we had the earlier uh, cylinder horsepower and mpg and then what we are doing is we are just adding the cyl underscore label to this data set by if else command so what we are saying that if cylinder is equals to four that means cyl is equals to four then it is mentioned four cylinder otherwise if it is six six cylinder if not then finally eight cylinder and then you know you can go ahead and uh, plot this on the plot the chart so for that let's take our first command the simple command this one plotly and copy this paste it over here and say text is equals to cyl so cyl underscore label and press control enter once you press control enter as you can see along with 30.4 you are getting the four cylinder which is what you added over here so if you have any such requirement where you need to add custom labels like this along with the value of the bar, that's how you can do it. And this example, the if else will is just an additional one. Uh, generally, if you have the values in the data set, no need to do that. If you don't have, you can, that's how you can produce it custom. Apart from that, uh, there are many other things like changing the X axis label angle, and uh, you know customizing the bar color so for example uh, you have the um, condition where you want to change the or customize the bar color so for example earlier if you see over here 
let's say in the group bar chart what you are getting is the these two colors but let's say i want to change it then based on my needs then what can what i can do is uh, i can specify this color parameter nothing is changing if you compare above commands with this one that we are just introducing a new parameter which is color and same black and blue so control enter and one is blue another one is black so with this color parameter color is equals to i and then the color name that's how you can easily go ahead and change it apart from this uh, if you observe i have specified the tick angle and all this is basically to changing the x label angles so for example if your angles are pretty big uh let's say month's name and all that's how you know and it is not coming properly so mostly in case of excel if you have seen you are changing the angle and that's what we are doing it over here so if that's the requirement within the layout you can change the tick angle it's very easy and straightforward so let's move on all right let's move on to one of the feature which is uh, customizing individual bar color so if you have multiple bars like here in this case we have created a custom data set where feature a b c d e and you have the values as this and we just created a data frame out of it by using the data frame command and what we are doing is we are just plotting the data with x axis x y axis is y and type is equals to bar but we want to change the color for each bar and as you can see that for one two three four and five we have given five different color one two three four five out of these five four are similar but just the one color is different which is this so what you can do is with the help of the marker parameter you can change the individual bar color so if i press control enter that's how your feature particular um feature will look like so that's that's an easy way if you want to highlight something uh, specific in your chart that's how you can do it all right that's the quick introduction and quick different features about the plot bar charts and uh, now we want to go move ahead and see it in action in shiny and that's an interesting part because then you can automate this entire piece and that's what i love about it so ui.r very simple interface i am introducing you so that you don't have any issue in grasping the concept so what we are doing is we are just into importing the library shiny and plot plotly and uh, giving the basic parameters which is the shiny ui fluid page and within the fluid page we want plotly output as plot that's it very simple this plot is getting produced over here in server and again we are importing the two libraries we are creating a shiny server function input and output and we are producing this output plot this particular plot which we have given it over here in this function which is nothing but render plotly so if you have seen my previous videos i have uh, different functions like render table render chart and all but in case of plotly you need to have render plotly function and within the render plotly we are just passing a simple plotly command which you have seen earlier and we are passing empty cars data set what is the x parameter what is the y parameter and as you can see we are not passing anything so based on what x and y parameter we are passing whether categorical character or numeric whatever it is based on that shine this plot we will produce the chart so let's see it in action what it produces very simple just specify it and it will going to plot and the output you need to specify is the plot the output that's the important thing and rendering is needs to be done by render plot that's the function so run app save that's your scatter chart because both mpg and wt is numeric that's why it has produced the numeric chart and then in this case 
what you can do is you can just look at a specific part and this will display it. And if you want to come back, you can uh, look, go to reset axis and it will come back to the original state. If you want to zoom, you can zoom it. If you want to zoom out, you can zoom out. It has a lasso select also. So that introduced a new feature in a box select and zoom and if you want to download, which I have already talked. So that's about it, how you can implement it into the Shiny. And what you can do right now as part of the exercise is whatever chart that we have produced in the bar chart over here, just take this script and try to automate this entire piece into the Shiny. That will clear all your concepts related to Plotly. That means you will use two of uh, commands and the parameters that Plotly function requires, as well as you will be pretty good with the Shiny about how you can automate this entire Shiny piece and become familiarized with the Shiny concept. If you are not aware about uh, Shiny and wants to learn more about it, I have already uploaded a lot of videos and there is a playlist available in my in my channel that you can see related to Shiny uh, step by step right from the scratch as well as related to Shiny dashboards. So I encourage if you don't know much about it, go ahead and see it in my channel and you will find it useful. So that's pretty much all and uh, this is the first video. I will cover a couple of other charts uh, in this series as, is, as well as how you can implement that in Shiny. And then uh, that will uh, that's how we'll go ahead and complete this series. Thanks for watching.